Hey guys, welcome back. I'm EDC Gunner, and today I have a couple of minutes to kill. And why not make a video and talk while just with you guys? And uh, that's what I like to do most, and uh, that's what makes me happy after all. And uh, lately, I got this watch. Uh, this is a uh, Abelier and Sons, Abelier and Zona, like Lange and Zona. And they say they are tied from 1800s, from the 19th century basically so but I never heard of them and I got this watch it's a nice watch makes a nice gift for someone uh, for someone who's not a watch enthusiast that is so this is basically a boutique brand you walk in a large mall and store in Europe and Germany because it's German and uh, you can get this one in the shopping center uh, it's around I checked on Amazon they are like 200 bucks for this one and it's a great watch I opened it up to change the battery it has a Ronda inside a tiny little Ronda moment and a large big spacer around it it's a quartz watch doesn't matter Ronda makes some decent movements uh, they are Swiss after all uh, but it's nothing nothing big deal especially if you're not a watch enthusiast but someone who's a watch uh, who's not a watch guy it's gonna make a great gift like I'm gonna do with this one or uh, you just uh, one watch guy don't care about watches like you are driving diesel golf or something like that not the GTI so yeah you know, like you're driving diesel BMW and the guy who's driving BMW uh, M or 330 or something like that or something like those lines so uh, and I want to, I see a lot of videos on YouTube online. Uh, someone would make a, someone, for example, would send me this watch, uh, the Abelier and Zona. They say, hey, this is going to want to do a review of our watch. And uh, I've been approached a ton of these watches, but I don't like them. I don't like them. I cannot talk about these watches, recommend to you, uh, because these are watches are not for enthusiasts. Uh, and, uh, and they, some of these brands approach me, my email at edcgunner.gmail.com. You can send me your questions, uh, collection for review and what, whatever you want. And uh, they, some of them say, hey, how much do you charge for an interview? I do not charge for an interview because I believe it's, uh, I want to speak freely about the watch. Uh, sometimes when the watch is total bullshit and crap, I don't make a video. I don't never make a promise to make, do a video, uh, but I want to speak about the bad sides and good sides and everything else. And uh, I don't want to just make. Uh, I I get it. It's a you have to put a title and clickbait. This is like a behind the scenes of YouTube, uh, but uh, affordable German classy Bauhaus Nomos for uh, affordable German Glashut. Uh, on the budget or something like that and it sells it sells it it gets uh, gets you a lot of views and whatnot but uh, after all uh, i cannot be making a video and telling you this watch is is a dream come true uh when you can be buying a Tissot, of course the soul for the same money uh i think it's a better buy i think it's a better buy uh seiko orient why not so uh occasionally i will do a review of a watch like this but it's gonna be i will go over the specs and everything else uh just because i cannot find some any information on, online and my goal was ever since i started uh this youtube that i want to put out as many watch reviews out there to put so much content that someone who's looking for for something uh that it can give you some information so yeah so basically this is a very decent watch uh, but it has a sapphire crystal decent bracelet and everything else it does not have an air coating and it squares has a iridescent dial and this was like a bit smaller to look like a Rolex Explorer uh, or an Oyster Perpetual sorry about the focus uh, and uh, I don't know I guess uh, some of these um, watch brands have been approaching me uh there was one actually interesting watch 
uh, but they have a line of three or four watches and uh, there was a watch at uh, like a world tennis courts diver uh, but it has uh, so much problems and first of all I think it's ugly uh, and it has it's so thin it has a diving bezel but it's not a true diver it's more like a dressy diver it has a diving bezel but the bezel is so flat and thin it does not even have numbers ending just like looks like someone pop off the bezel and it's where the watch sounds bezel and it's very thin but it's 46 millimeters and it's like 400 euros or 500 bucks or something along those lines and uh, I would do that I would do that uh, it's okay it's something different and I like the way how it's thin it's very thin too much thinner than this cord uh, however they are pushing me at their 50 millimeter uh, ugly as hell the cords I don't know something that I watch of a sort of and it's only interesting thing about it it has a quick release bracelet and you get two leather bands for it so you can change the strap so it's not really something a proper watch enthusiast would do uh, for 500 bucks you can get a nice Seiko number one uh, then you can get Hamilton uh, this so uh, bunch of watches Certina and uh, uh, in my channel, uh, my my goal always was to give you to show you some value for money, some strange quirky watches, which this one fits the criteria. But uh, at the end of the day, it's a bit too much money to charge and whatnot. And I'm not here to tell you how you spend your money, but uh, this that's something that I'm not interested in. And uh, I can make this one affordable German. Sapphire crystal same steel Bauhaus whatnot and uh, some poor some poor schmuck can jump in and get it and buy it and uh, it's not really it's I don't think that's okay uh, I understand everyone one needs to make a buck uh, I know everything about that I uh, I know it's important I'm a, I'm a capitalist. Uh, um, I'm all about making the buck, but uh, I think there's you have to have certain values, and you cannot be promoting uh, something that's not really uh, valuable and uh, sleep well at night. So th that's really it. So, uh, but on my channel, I ever since the beginning, I wanted to show you some watches that are good buys, good value for money and uh, at the end the watches that are uh, interesting and collectible and uh, worthy of investing money uh, time and research and time to find it and put it in a collection so yeah that's it this is my little rant of the i don't know what i'm going to call this video so chime in in the comment section if you have some better idea otherwise i'm going to call it affordable German Bauhaus crap. Thank you for watching, guys.